morning and welcome to the ladder ministries today we are having the palm sunday worship and communion service the communion will be after this session around 2 p.m we all come together and just take the bread and the cup together in jesus name amen father I commit this time into your hands have your way and impact your people for the great commission to be fulfilled and we will occupy till you come in jesus name amen um today we're looking at approving perfection in challenging times <laughs> as much as we still are within the challenging times i believe god still wants us to be perfect and approve perfection in jesus name and we're starting with looking at our main scripture which is in matthew chapter 5 which I've divided into three parts. And the first part is the teaching on the Beatitudes at the, on the mountain. And it, it's blessed at this and that. And you can get it from Matthew chapter 5 from verse 1 to 12. The second part is Jesus is stating that we are the salt of the world and we are indeed the light of the world. Yeah, and that can be found in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 16. So as the salt of the world, we are to preserve the world. We are to bring taste and to bring reason and sustenance to the world system. In times of challenge, in times of troubles, in times when people are giving up, where there's fear all over, you and I are supposed to be the salt of the earth. We are not supposed to fear along with them. But we are supposed to bring reason for life to them. And the Bible says at the same time that we are the light of the world. And the light should not be hidden under the bushel. But we should shine. And in challenging times, as we want to approve perfection, we want to remember that we should shine for the light of Christ in us. In Jesus' name. Now the second, the third part that I split the Matthew chapter 5 into is verse 21 to 40 and in verse 21 to 40 Jesus Christ is stating that we are not living under the law but we are living under something which is of higher requirement than the law and then he ends in verse 40 by stating that be perfect even as your father in heaven is perfect Jesus Christ is admonishing and challenging us to be perfect. So many times Christians have said, oh, we are just human. You know, as human as we are. No, we are not just human. We have been saved by the blood of the Lamb and He has made us His righteousness. And then He's saying that we are to be perfect even us, our Father in heaven, is perfect. So our perfection is not comparable to the earthly perfection. It's beyond that. This is where we, you and I, we stand. And today I'm challenging you and I. Within the troubled times, within times of temptations, within times of isolation, we must find how we can shine forth this perfect light of Christ in us. We must find out how we can reach out to our community and impact them with their salvation message in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible reading is from Philippians chapter 3 from verse 7 to 21. I'll read from verse 7 to 12 and try to explain. It's quite deep there. Um, I read. Um, but what things were gained to me these I have counted loss for Christ. This is Paul um, being inspired. He's read, uh, writing this. These I've counted for loss for Christ. Yet indeed I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish. That I may gain the gain Christ and be found in him not having my own righteousness which is from the law but that which is through faith in Christ the righteousness which is from God by faith 
verse 10 to 11 and 12 will be important here. That I may know the power of his resurrection and the sufferings of his fellowship being conformed to his death if by any means I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Now here, Paul is referring to his past, that he has been a law-abiding citizen. He has been a Hebrew of Hebrew. He has been a Jew of Jews. He has been doing everything to attain perfection in the physical. But the Bible has made us know that our righteousness, our perfect acts, are like filthy rats before God. And so Paul said, that all that he had attained in the past, he considered as what? Rubbish. So that he will attain Christ. The, and then the excellence of his knowledge of Christ. And then he goes on that he doesn't just want to know Christ, but he wants to attain. Perchance he will attain the resurrection of the dead in his time. Uh, uh, there were some times that Paul would be stoned by the, by the Jews when he went out ministering. He had challenging times, stoned and left for dead. But then after the Jews had left, Paul would come back. And when he was back, he noticed that he was back in his normal physical body. But Paul here is stating that he was looking to attain the resurrection from the dead. Meaning that he was looking to attain having come back to life and seen that he had a glorious body just like Jesus Christ had but verse 12 he said that not that I have already attained or I'm already perfect or I'm already perfected but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Hmm. This is very interesting. Paul knew that he had the perfect Christ in him. Christ in him was the hope of glory. He was not waiting for the resurrection from the dead in the future. He was looking at it in the now. And as I go further into explaining this, I believe that to mark those who want to attain the highest calling in their Christian life. Marking means recognizing. Marking means putting your sign of approval. Yeah? So we are approving things of perfection. We are approving people of perfection. And what situation are you in? What challenges are you facing? What things are around you? No matter the situation, look out to approve that which is right. Look out to approve that which is ordained by God for you. In Jesus' name. The third reading is taken from the um, Luke chapter 9, verse 28 to 48. And that's the triumphant entry. Oh, my days. Jesus Christ, prior to this, in Luke chapter 19, verse 13, had told his disciples that they must occupy till he come. No matter the challenges, no matter the strategies of the devil or the antichrist, no matter the diseases, the pandemic, the epidemics, the, 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 the persecutions, Jesus says, don't give up, occupy till I come. Then... He moved to Jerusalem. When he moved to Jerusalem, he, the, that was the triumphant entry. And that's why we celebrate Palm Sunday. When he entered into Jerusalem, he pulled down and turned down the tables of the money changers in the temple. He did not approve the wrong things. He challenged the wrong and then stated that my house shall be called what? A house of prayer. 
Today, what are you approving? Like Jesus Christ disapproved the wrong, so are we mandated to disapprove any machinations of the wicked one, any strategies of the wicked one, any disease that wants to attack your body, any COVID-19 that wants to attack the world. We can speak against it and say that COVID-19, coronavirus disease, we make it illegal for you to come into our homes. We make it illegal for you to stay in our communities. We resist your oppressions. Today, let's celebrate Christ. Let's approve.